All right. It is the week of January 9th, and we've got some new products here at the Goulet Pen Company. Some that came out this week, some that came out in the slower weeks that preceded this delightful, wonderful, magical week of January the 9th. And we're going to cover all of it. So let's start with pens. No, let's start with ink, because we haven't talked about ink yet. Okay, the first ink that we're going to talk about is the uh, newest addition to the Fairy Tales collection from Ferris Wheel Press. This is Lapis Lullabies. Lullabies, yes, multiple lullabies. It's a beautiful blue ink with... Um, so I wrote with this ink, and I thought that it had silver shimmer in it, and then I thought that it had gold. Come to find out that they are referring to the shimmery particles in this beautiful blue ink as champagne shimmer. So there it is, Lapis Lullabies. It has the beautiful cap that Ferris Wheel Press normally has, and as you can see, there is a lot of shimmer in there. See, that's where it's settled, right there. And that is going to happen in your pen, too. So with these inks, it's important to make sure that you are consistently agitating your pen so that that shimmer doesn't settle in your converter or in your ink reservoir, whatever sort of pen you might be using. So we'll set that one aside. And then, like I said, that's $21 available now. Setting that one aside, we're going to move into our New Year's theme for this week starting with this ink from Colorverse. This is the Colorverse's 2023 New Year ink, and it's green. As you can see with the label, it is green with a lot of shimmer in it. And it is a very, very rich, very vibrant green. And there we have that. Again, like the, look at that shimmer. There is a lot going on in there. Keep that in mind when this is in the pen. It's going to do the same thing. But as long as you're consistently moving it around, I like to just give pens a, a, just a gentle twist every now and then. Write a couple letter, letters, twist. Write a couple letters, twist. That usually works out for me. This ink is going to be $24 for 30 mils of ink. And you could also say that it would pair well, really well, with this pen. This pen was recently launched, and it is from Benu. It is a Euphoria model, and it is their 2023 New Year's pen. And it is the perfect complement to that Colorverse ink. Look at that. Look at all the stuff going on in there. So you have got some, uh, obviously, a lot of shimmer and glitter, which is not, nothing new for Benu. But it's got some really unique flakes in there, too, like different shapes. Very lovely. Just very Benu. And uh, it is quite celebratory. So this has a number six nib on it, made by Schmidt in Germany. And of course, as you see here, they are numbered out of 500. So a numbered limited edition for the 2023 New Year. And if you should so wish to pair your ink, these two items are just made for each other. It is a collaboration, so they are literally made for each other. This pen is $165. A few of them are still available, but uh, they will not be around, but they will not be around for long. So, all right, we're going to talk about the Black Matte Conklin All-American. This pen came out in both a rose gold trim, as you see here, and a black gunmetal trim, which I do not have with me right now, but uh, that is because they are sold out at the moment. So, I'm sorry. But the rose gold is quite lovely. As you see, it is just a black matte resin pen. It is, there's not a whole lot to say about it. It's just, a, it's a black matte pen, but that's really what you want from black matte, right? Matte black. Sometimes Pilot says matte, Pilot says black matte. Everything else is matte black, and I sometimes forget. So with the rose gold trim, as you can see, the Omniflex nib here is a rose, a rose gold nib. That's only going to be the case with the Omniflex nib. All of the other nibs, the non-Omniflex, stub, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, all that stuff is going to be in a black nib to match the black matte. But the Omniflex nib will be rose gold to match the hardware, the furniture, if you will. There's the engraving there. Very nice, very clean, and it is a cartridge converter pen, and I believe it is postable as well. It is postable, but... It's a, uh, it's a, I'm not going to say wonky, 
because I don't believe it's wonky, but it is not a hmm, streamlined post there. There's pl this is a larger pen, so posting isn't as necessary as some might think on other pens. And there you have it. It's a basic pen, but it's supposed to be basic. It is just a black matte Conklin All-American, very universally accepted body style here. Um, basic, if you will, but basic in a good way. Finally, grand finale, we're going to Italy and visiting Visconti in two pens. These are the new Kaleido pens. They have the outward appearance of a Homo sapiens, which is one of Visconti's most famous pens the most famous Visconti pen. The Unicorn Galaxy here in blue, we've had available for a bit. The Fire Opal here on, in the orange is new. They were supposed to come out together. This one got delayed a little bit. So this one is just now showing up and it is quite lovely. These pens, both the Fire Opal and the Unicorn Galaxy, are made, uh, the resin is made in the US by Jonathan Brooks of the Carolina Pen Company and uh, all done by hand. So small batch resin manufacturing there and he's able to capture some very, very unique, very special patterns and colors in his resins. And uh, that is why Visconti was interested in checking that out. So this is not the first Brooks resin they've done. They've done a few in the past, but every single time they are just breathtaking. So we've got the um, famous Visconti clip of the Ponte Vecchio bridge styling there. A big trim ring, which is different than the Homo sapiens. So the Kaleido, which is the model of this pen, not just this collection, um, does not have the standard two trim rings like the Homo sapiens has. It has a much larger trim ring that is stylized with the Visconti V all over it. And then it is a uh, it is a hook safe lock, so you are going to get that same capping operation as the. Why am I paying attention to this one? We're talking about the fire rubble. That's the new one. Let's pick this up. Hook safe lock. So as you can see, we've got some locks and notches and channels, all of which creates that famous capping feel, and uh, it's also very very efficient in sealing off your pen, making sure that nothing dries out. And you can see, because this is a translucent pen, that you, the inner cap moves up and down here. And you can see a spring too. See that? See that spring compressing? That is what keeps your pen nice and wet. Make sure that the ink stays ready for you to go. And we've got a 14 karat gold nib here, again stylized with that Visconti V on both sides and a grip section that matches the resin of the barrels. So both of these pens are also the double reservoir power filler, meaning vacuum filler. Pulling it out, dunking it in the ink, and then boop, it is full. And you've got a primary reservoir here, a secondary reservoir right here beneath that little gasket. So. Some things new, some things not. In effect, it will you know, give a you know, basic appearance as a Homo sapiens, same operations if you are familiar with the Homo sapiens, but with its own unique identity there. These pens are $635. Both are currently available. So again, as per usual, more on the website, lots of details there, including measurements, weights, weight, lengths capped, lengths closed, lengths posted. We have a ton of different measurements that we measure here in-house every time we get a new pen. So if you want details, it's there. We make sure that that is available and accessible to you. So in addition, we also take some pretty good pictures. So go check those out if you're curious to learn more. Until next time, hope you have fun. Right on.